Hey, young black man. Happy New Year. I am so late getting this out. I was supposed to do it on the first, but I didn't do it. I let the headache take over and prevent me from doing it. So I apologize that I haven't didn't put this out. So I am doing it now. Um, so like I said, you know, hey, young black man, boy, teenager, whomever. Happy New Year. I just want you to know that I am praising and thanking God for your life. That is a word that God told me in regards to my ministry. Praise and thank God for the lives of these young black men, teenagers, and boys. Amen. Okay, now here's the thing. I was just going to say that but that is not me. Y'all know I had to go dig up some scripture to talk about, right? Now, like I said, I am praising God for your life. Now, it does not matter if you are a scholar, you know, you love school. It doesn't matter if you are a homebody, just like to sit at home, play your game, just chill out at the house. It don't matter if you're a street ninja, and y'all know what ninja means on social media. Or it don't matter if you are a gangbanger. Now, why don't it matter? Because regardless of what you're doing, what you have done, God still has a plan and a purpose for your life. Even if you are doing things that is not in line with God. Okay? Now, where do I get that from about the plan and purpose for your life? Jeremiah 29 verse 11 in the New King James Version reads, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Now, God wants you to repent of your sins, okay? Now, there, like I said, there is nothing you could have done that God won't forgive you for if you repent. Just like I said, there's nothing you could have done or did that God, that will cause God not to have a plan and a purpose for your life. So like I said, there is nothing you could have done that God won't forgive you for. But the key thing is, if you repent. 1 John chapter 1, verses 8 and 9 in the New Living Translation reads, If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. Now, God wants you to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, okay? Romans 10 verses 9 and 10 in the New Living Translation reads, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, talking about Jesus, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God. And it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. Now, God wants to be your father and for you to be his son. John chapter 1 verses verse 12 reads, New Living Translation, But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. This lets us know that everybody is not a child of God. You have to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior to be a child of God. God wants, you, God wants you to be in heaven with him when you die. By the way, he does not want your life to be cut short. God wants you to have long life. And he says this in Proverbs. Well, the Bible says it's, it's not God speaking. But Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27, New King James Version reads, The fear of the Lord prolongs days. But the years of the wicked will be shortened. Now, who is the wicked? Those that sin and don't repent. Those that have guilt. Have, he's talking about those that have guilt. Those that have unforgiveness. Um, those that have ungodly habits. 
even ungodly anxiety. Just FYI, I talk about sometimes on my social media, like my Facebook, my personal Facebook, at least Bradley. I talk about, you know, anxiety and things like that. But one thing that I do, I know it's not of God. And I know when it comes, it's a tap of the enemy. But one thing I always do is I was like, Lord, I repent for anxiety. And some people are like, oh, it's okay to have anxiety. In my heart, my conviction, no, it is not. So that is one thing that I do repent of. That even though I still battle it, when it comes, I pray and I repent. I pray and I repent. Sometimes I cry. Sometimes it be so bad I cry. But I cry, I pray, and I repent. Um, so those things that I just mentioned that they're talking about with the wicked, those things can take years off your life. And the Bible says so. Now, if you don't believe in the Bible, then please don't come up here debating, okay? I'm just giving you this for you to take in and let God minister to you. That's why I believe God always has me to read scripture because I don't have time for a, dude. a lot of debating. I just tell you what the word of God says and you can take it up with God. Take it up with God. And so I don't have to go back and forth because that that is not pleasing in God's eyes for me to like debate you or anything like that. So I just want to let you know. And then, you know, you can talk to God about it. Even if you don't believe in, in believe in God. Guess what? You can still talk to him. Be like, I don't believe what this lady talking about. Um, she talking about the Bible says this, that, and the other. Um, you know, I don't believe this mess. You know, you can say that to God if that's how you feel because he knows you are anyway. So if you talk to him and say that, you know, you can say I don't believe in you. You know, this lady talking about the Bible and this, this, that, and the other and stuff like that. But uh, but yes, just take it up with him and he will convict your heart because I'm not here to, um, you know, cast judgments or anything like that. I, I call sin a sin. Yes. And I love you regardless of what you do, you know, but I'm just speaking what the Bible says. Okay. Now, one of the other things that takes years off our lives because like I said God wants us to have a long wants you to have us to have a long life is Ephesians 6 verses 2 and 3 and I'm reading from the New Living Translation and it reads honor your father and mother this is the first commandment with a promise now here's the promise if you honor your father and mother Things will go well for you, and you will have a long life on the earth. Amen. So that is one, two, and that goes for me. I'm 43 years old. That goes for me. I must, well, my father passed, but my mother, I must honor my mother. Okay. And I'm quick to tell my kids that, too. And but they'll come back with the rebuttal. You have to get your Bible, and it's in Ephesians six, verse four. But it says, "Fathers, talking about mothers too, do not provoke your children to wrath." And so, we as parents need to check ourselves too. But I'm just talking about um, long life right now. So you know, but yeah, we as parents we have a responsibility. I know I'm kind of getting off subject. I gotta hurry up because my ten minutes is almost up in this video. But I just have one more verse for you. Proverbs 9, verse 11 in the New Living Translation reads, Wisdom will multiply your days and add years to your life. If you want wisdom, for start reading the book of Proverbs, okay? And I need to start reading that more too. So, wisdom. The whole Bible is full of wisdom. But if you want to start, start in the book of Proverbs if you want to learn more about wisdom, okay? And so... I just pray that God's word will penetrate your heart. And um, when it does, you will know. And remember that God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you.